One of the main topics in GrandMA 3 version 2.3 is the improvement of filters. Why do we need filters? We can use them for in or output filters in sequences or to reduce the data to a level of information what we want to see, especially in bigger sheets like the sequence sheet, the fixture sheet or the track sheet. So let's have a look at the filters. You know, we can open up a pool where our filters are based. So all filters are living in this filter pool. And if we have a look at the filter now, so to edit a new one, for example, we can see the new structure of the filters. So on the right hand side, we can see the pretty familiar attribute filtering. So you can set some attribute filter rules to filter out attributes of your bigger sheets. On the left hand side, you can see the rules and the rule sets. And this is new in version 2.3. You can create some more filter rules than ever before. So have a look at a typical filter rule, for example. We open a new one and you can see some of these very helpful predefined filter rules now. So if you want to filter, for example, for fixtures which show the cooked values, so values which are coming from your recipe, you can use this predefined filter rule. Then you have some more of these uh, very useful filter rules like if active, if output or if programmer. So to see some fixtures which are currently active, which are currently on your output or the fixtures which are in the programmer. A very new rule which is um, quite helpful is this live rule. So this live rule will show you all fixtures with a dimmer value above zero and a dimmer value of 0% which is stored in a specific queue. So you will see all the fixtures which are currently actively yeah, taking place in your, in your output, in your queue and in your sequence. And then of course you have some of these more filters and filter rules like uh, used in object, used in selected sequence, used in your show. So some filter rules which are by default quite helpful to create your own and personalized filters. Within these filters now you can define these filter rules within one rule set. Within one rule set you create filter rules and you have an end condition. So you want to filter data which is then following this rule and this rule and this rule. Between the rule sets, so if you create a new rule set, you can have an OR condition. So you want to filter data which follows this rule set or this rule set. So you can see next to some predefined filters that you can also create very personalized and very customized filters for your own needs. Especially with these new filter rules, um, this is very easy. But at the end, I want to show you also a little bit of a nice workflow to create yeah, a very simple filter. So for example, we want to see only fixtures which are based in that all spots group. We can just use the group object of all the spots and assign it to a new filter. And when we have a look at this filter now, we can see that it's automatically creating a filter which is the rule of used in object. So we only want to see fixtures in this group. So we can see our all group here. You can do exactly the same with presets for example or with a sequence object. So just assign an object to a filter and then it will create this used in object filter for you. So have a look at the new filters in GrandMA 3 version 2.3 and I wish you happy programming with that one.